Hey guys, this video is about sturgeons. Well, what are sturgeons? Well, they're ki from the kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, family Acipensaridae, or D, both pronunciations are okay. Habitat is typically marine freshwater. Uh, they are Osiecthes, bony fish. So they live in uh, main channels of rivers and estuaries and can be found in all water depth rivers, including subtropical, temperate, and subarctic. So uh, they are prehistoric in appearance. They have flat, elongated bodies. They have fins with dorsal and anal fins. Uh, on occasion, they have these big bodies. 7 to 12 feet long is the common size. They're 18 feet at the most. And this picture is a white sturgeon and is normally... They grow to about 6 feet, but this thing is a beast. So, um, the species actually have large armor-like scales, uh, other than uh, normal scales that most fish have. They have four barbels under their chin, uh, fleshy whisker things. That actually made me, made me think of them as catfish at first, but they actually use them to find food since the water is dark and thick at the bottom of the river, since they're bottom feeders. Uh, their skeleton is actually made up of cartilage rather than actual bone. So uh, cartilage is connective tissues to create a structure. Uh, they lack a vertebral centra. It's a supporting bone in the vertebral column. And uh, they're polyploid, so they're organisms with more than two paired sets of chromosomes. So uh, sturgeon would naturally have either four, eight, or 16 pairs. So uh, function, they move around with their pectoral fin, uh, the fin's right next to his face, and they have a closed circulatory system. So uh, heart blood is pumped into blood vessels and follows a linear circuit, and then returns to the heart, and then gets repumped again into the gills to be reoxygenated. Re so they have a two-chambered heart, again, same process, but the interesting thing is a two-chambered heart is actually the optimal heart configuration for a fish. So they also have gills with a spiracle, oops, um, and uh, so what happens is water passes over the gills and then the oxygen particles are then pulled from the water particles and then uh, used. So energy sources, nutrition, digestion, they're bottom feeders, so they eat from the bottom of the sea. Since sturgeons have poor eyesight, they use their barbels, the whisker things from before, to locate their food and suck them up with their extendable mouth. So uh, watch this exciting video of their feeding action. So uh, they're being, uh, this is a two-year-old white sturgeon. Uh, so s smaller sturgeons actually feed on small invertebrates like uh, insect larvae and mollusks. And when they get larger, their digestive becomes more uh, fish-based. So um, this video is just showing um, feeding. And you can see their mouths actually extending and grabbing these uh, food. So uh, some species actually use their esophagus. Uh, like the short note sturgeon, they grind up their prey in their gizzard, uh, like digestive organ, via esophagus. And then they have a spiral valve digestive system located near the lower portion of the intestine to absorb food and nutrients as they pass through a small colon and then to be fully digested and they exit throughout the anus. Uh, so energy production, ecology, they comp they contribute ecologically by being a delicacy. So uh, food source, the eggs actually turn into caviar, these fancy seafoods that in my opinion makes my stomach really feel grossed out. Uh, they are good for recreational fisheries, uh, sport fishing, like uh, these guys, um, uh, ecotourism of habitats, uh, contribute to the environment by keeping populations in check, like the other organisms in the Osteichthys uh, taxonomic group. Taxonomy is stylization of classifying, identifying organisms by Carolus Linnaeus. So, um, reproduction. They actually migrate from salt water to fresh water since uh, the reproduction always uh, sort of happens in fresh water. Uh, fertilization is by eggs, so it's external. The eggs are put into an environment either being rocky, cobble, or gravel as a preference, and sperm from a male is then squirted on them as a uh, fertilization. So interesting facts, or important facts, uh, sturgeon is a common name for 26 different species in the family. They're also the oldest family of Osteichthys in existence, and they are actually at a risk of extinction extinction due to uh, exploitation threats like hunting or fishing for their eggs and maybe just for sport pollution and habitat fragmentation uh, habitat fragmentation is when uh, organisms break off parts of themselves in habitats that they like reducing the population from millions to actually thousands and um, interesting thing females spawn three to five years while the male spawns every year to every other year uh, so that's my video uh, thanks for watching something funny 
and uh, he's